It's been called the latest health crisis in New York State and around the country. Nationwide, hundreds of illnesses and at least six deaths have now been linked to vaping. Now Governor Andrew Cuomo is moving to ban those flavored e-cigarettes in New York. CBS in New York's Nick Calloway has more. Vaping is dangerous, period. Governor Andrew Cuomo made it clear Sunday he sees the surge of vaping-related illnesses and deaths as a public health crisis. It is addicting young people to nicotine at a very early age. And nicotine is highly addictive. Cuomo is proposing a ban on the sale of e-cigarettes with fruity flavors popular with teenagers. Names like bubblegum, cotton candy, Captain Crunch. These are obviously targeted to young people. New York Health Commissioner Dr. Howard Zucker will appeal to the state's Public Health and Health Planning Council to issue an emergency regulation banning all flavors except tobacco and menthol, which could help people quit traditional cigarettes. The exclusion of menthol drew sharp criticism from the American Lung Association, the group saying in a statement, while today's announcement was well-intentioned, it will drive our youth to use menthol-flavored products in even greater numbers. Meanwhile, critics say the ban will have a devastating impact on small businesses. There are more than 700 vape shops like this one in New York State, about 70 alone in New York City. Some say if this ban goes into effect, most, if not all, of these shops will go out of business. We think that closing down hundreds and hundreds of businesses that had nothing to do with the issue is absolutely insane. Spike Babayan with the New York State Vapor Association says the vast majority of products sold in vape shops are flavored. It's impossible for any vape shop to stay open when you eliminate 90% of their sales. Meanwhile, the number of vaping-related lung illnesses in New York has climbed to 64, and vaping among high school students has gone up 160% in the last four years. <laughs> Outside the New York City Department of Education today, dozens of students and parents gathered to rally against the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. The device is now common even in middle schools. I see middle schoolers vaping all around me. When I walk down the street, when I look through social media, and even when I'm with my friends. Cuomo says the ban could be in place by early October. Nick Calloway, CBS in New York.